I don't want to hear that enough crap. Give me another beer or I'll bust your ass up and down the bar. Suddenly, I feel like talking about Terminator Genesis again. I never thought I would do a spoiler review. The desire didn't hit me until recently. I will be dropping spoilers, so if you haven't seen the movie, don't watch it right now. If you're a Terminator fan, you might as well give Genesis a shot. Genesis has some homages to, to the first two movies, specifically the first one. The prologue is similar to Terminator 2's prologue. We see Judgment Day. We see the, the nukes blowing up the Earth. Sarah Connor narrated T2. Carl Reese narrated this movie. When he started talking, I thought it was John Connor. Like I said before, Arnold Schwarzenegger is the best part of this movie. He didn't phone it in. There is a hilarious smile and running gag. Well, the first shot was lame. It was ruined by a robotic sound effect. Before the movie came out, I watched The Guardian Future Ready. That first shot was shown. Oddly enough, that sound effect was removed. Yeah, it was better. I, I didn't laugh, but um, it was still a wise decision. So I naturally assumed that sound effect wouldn't be in the movie, but no, it was still in there. I mean, what's going on here? Well, the other two smiles were funny. In my original review, I stated the effects are mixed. I didn't give it much thought. I was thinking they're mostly decent. Well, after giving it some thought, I told myself, the effects are good. Yeah, there are several bad effect shots. The T-1000 doesn't look any better than it did in T-2, but no big deal, a nitpick. Terminator 2 and Jurassic Park are proof. Mix and CGI and animatronics are great. Nothing can top it. Everyone is glad Star Wars The Force Awakens has mostly practical effects. I won't be surprised if most of these new Star Wars movies will mostly use CGI. The second trailer spoiled the big twist. John Connor is a Terminator. He's a nanomachine hybrid. He's a T-3000. Well, according to Wikipedia and maybe several other sites, he's never called that in the movie. Why that number? I have no idea. We've never seen the T-2000. Before I seen the movie, I was thinking maybe Sarah would be forced to kill her son. That would have been a decent scene. Like, that would have been a way better ending than we got. If I wrote this movie, I would have used that ending. J.K. Simmons has a small role. He plays Detective O'Brien. He's easily likable. I want to see more of him. Before I seen the movie, I thought he was going to die, but no, he survived. He's sequel bait. Skynet is Genesis, a social media app, some kind of app. I honestly never looked up app. I'll do that today or sometime. I honestly don't know if this plot point is decent or silly. It's different. That's something. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, they never explain why they misspelled Genesis. IMDB is a dark and dangerous place. I habitually go there. I habitually look up movie news. Well, I recently reduced a little. I visited the Genesis IMDB page uh, a few days before the movie came out. I accidentally discovered two spoilers. Number one, the T-1000's liquid metal revived the T-800. The second spoiler was about the end, and Arnold becomes the T-1000. I thought they were jokes, but no, they were real. How did Arnold become the T-1000? After Cyberdam blew up, he accidentally merged with John Connor's liquid metal. That was a silly ending. I mean, does anybody like it? I don't think so. I naturally thought he would die. That would have been way better. It wouldn't be touching like Terminator 2's ending, but it still would have been better. Like Salvation, Genesis was intended to start a trilogy. Both movies flopped. I heard Genesis is doing well overseas, so those sequels are still possible. The franchise should be left alone. Uh, it could be rebooted years from now. When, when I say reboot, I don't mean like Genesis or Star Trek. I mean an actual reboot, a hard reboot. If a reboot does happen, we shouldn't see Arnold or other Connors. It can easily focus on new characters. As always, if, thanks for watching, guys. You could watch my Q&A video if you haven't already. I will make another Q&A announcement very soon. I'm thinking about reviewing Back to the Future very soon. I'll talk to you later.